welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a DIY Country Crate Autumn Centerpiece. We're going to make it with a dark crate this time. It's going to be a little different. We're going to use these metallic pumpkins from the Dollar Tree or any kind of pumpkins or trims you'd like. I'm going to use these two recycled jars just to give some elevation. You can use whatever you need, whatever you have around the house, excuse me. You can add candles with these candlesticks or any kind of candlesticks. And I have this really cute carved wooden autumn scarecrow, but they do sell some foam scarecrow, I mean, uh, cloth scarecrows at the Dollar Tree. These are Dollar Tree from last year. They're sort of foam, glittery pumpkins and leaves. And then here's the crate that we're going to use. I'll link the tutorial for the crate down below and as well as the other centerpiece we did farmhouse style. This one's going to be a little bit more traditional colors. Um, so what I did was I tried to see if maybe I wanted him to be elevated. Um, he is on a base that says autumn and it's got straw and I just want to show you it could be an option. I am um, putting this on my coffee table in front of where I sit every day so I don't really want him to be that tall but I do think he looks cute sitting in this crate. So I'm going to add it and then I wanted to just show you the option of what it looks like with the candlesticks in it. These candlesticks I had from my wedding they were on <laughs> the uh, tables at my wedding in 2000 so you probably won't be able to find them but just to give you an option of some candlesticks that you could use you could use candlesticks from the Dollar Tree anything that you have laying around and again just another option but again this was a little too tall for what the look I was going for but I just wanted to show you guys some options this crate on the inside I believe is like four and a half inches wide so that you'll have plenty of room for lots of different things so I have these two jars. They were sauerkraut from all these, but I rinse them and leave them. I like the little gingham tops. I've used them for lots of things. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them over because the bottoms have sort of like a concave glass. And I'm gonna put these two glass um, pumpkins on them and they'll sit a little better in the concave glass. So this um, centerpiece, like the last one that we made in farmhouse style, is undoable, okay? Basically, it is a removable centerpiece. So we're not gonna be cutting or gluing anything. We're just gonna be placing. So this right here is a hydrangea. This hydrangea I happened to get from the Dollar General last year after autumn. It was on clearance for 75 cents. Um, and it has six blossoms on it. So what I've done is I've just not taken it even apart, just spread it so three blossoms were on each side. And not blossoms, but three stems. So there's three stems on each side and I've laid it behind the scarecrow and they're all adjustable. So once I get it all in place, I'll adjust the um, blossoms wherever I like. Okay. Now I'm just going to give um, a little height to what I'm going to put in there. I'm going to stuff some garbage bags. These are obviously from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to stuff them in some of the blank areas. I also wanted to show you that you don't need to buy any special foam. You don't need to buy any special moss. You don't need to, you know, get rocks or any kind of filler. You could just use whatever you have around the house. And that's kind of what this is. I bought this wooden scarecrow um, stand from like Walmart, maybe Walmart. I don't even know. It was so long ago that I can't even tell you. It, it has to have been since when I first got married. So maybe 15 years ago. Um, but just to give you an idea that of whatever kind of decorations you have to incorporate into um, this, a centerpiece is basically what we're trying to do. All right. And I had just gotten these maple leaves from the Dollar Tree, um, just the other day. And what I have is I've taken one that's got a little glitter. I put it in front of one of the other big red ones and then layered a third one in front. And I haven't glued them. I haven't pinned them or any of that stuff. I'm just trying to lay them in front of each other and place them in front of the jar. So I just want to create a little bit of a blockage for the jar, okay? So you see I'm just fanning them out and I'm sticking them between the jar and the box. And then if you guys have been here for the last week, you saw I made these DIY Dollar Tree picks um, and then, um, or DIY picks, I should say. And what we're going to do is we're just going to stick one of them in the corner just because I had them already done. I already had them available. All right, and then I'm going to, mirror on the other side don't forget you always want to like mirror on the other side um, so I've stuck that pick there I'm going to put this pick here and then I'm going to put the three leaves um, what I did was I really liked the 
pick that was on the left, but it was actually from Walmart leaves that looked a little bit more realistic. Um, and I only had one of those, but I think I'm going to go ahead and, um, see if this works, if I can get this one little realistic leaf to stay in this Dollar Tree pick for now and <laughs> see if it works. Um, but just play with it. You know, it's your arrangement. It's your style. If you buy things that you like and you put them together, they will work because you will like them. You will like them together. I know that, that sounds silly. As long as you have similar colors, possibly similar sizes, possibly similar textures or all of the above. So for example, this scarecrow has got orange pumpkins. I have orange in the flowers, there's orange in the leaves, there's gonna be orange pumpkins, okay? And the pumpkins will be glittery. And I also have glittery um, leaves and glittery stems and all these things. Sorry about my hand, just testing for color. <laughs> testing for lighting, I'm sorry, not color. Um, but as long as you keep the, the theme that you're going together um, and like I said, pick things that you like, you'll know that they'll work out for you. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, it's giving me a hard time. So maybe we'll do something different, but for right now, we'll just move on. I found these leaves were on, um, a plant two years ago. I think I got from Amish country, but I, I know my husband gets on me about saving every little thing, but you never know when every little thing is going to come in handy. Um, I happen to have two of them. And since I wanted to make this semi-symmetrical or mostly symmetrical or balanced, it's, that's a good word, balanced, then I wanted to use one on both sides. Um, and I put those behind the jars in the corners. So to actually add a little height in the back there. All right. And so the next thing I have is these... Um, like skeleton type leaves with glitter that I got at the Dollar Tree last year. I actually saw them in the beginning of this year at one of the Dollar Trees, but I didn't pick any up because I knew I had so many from last year. And um, this package had come with red, large red, medium gold, and little green. And then what I've done is I've layered them. I've taken a, one of each and I've just layered them in front of each other to create a cute little arrangement. And I'm just going to add a little sparkle to the front here next to those leaves in front of where the candle I'm sorry not the candle the jar with the pumpkin will be and then I'm going to do the same on the other side um, I haven't sped this one up for you guys so normally I speed them up for you because they usually take a really long time but this one was in less than 15 minutes so I'll place my pumpkins now and then I'll adjust my flowers so that you can see the pumpkins and adjust my leaves these are two different pumpkins. This is one tall silver one and one short bronze colored one. I have the orange ones in my dining room. And these were the two that I had from last year. I found them last year, but they were there again this year if you were lucky enough to find them. Um, but really the only thing that I had purchased this year is these leaves. These oak leaves. I mean, excuse me, maple leaves that I found the other day. All right, and I'm just going to do the same thing before. I'm just going to put some in the middle and throw some leaves in here and there. Not too much though. I don't want to overdo it. All right. Let's see. So, uh, what I told you guys I was going to do was going to replace that one in the corner that looked like those real leaves. I'm going to put them in the center since I only have one of those. And I want to show you that you can, um, incorporate it in the wooden guy so I'm going to pull the little um, birds up and put all of those leaves behind it to show you that option hold on I'm sorry I fell over just to show you the option of how it blends in but I actually think I'm gonna I like it better the other way so just want to show you some options now the other thing I have is these picks um, these picks also were from last year um, they were also from the Dollar Tree and they're like the foam glitter picks and you got three pumpkins Two big gold leaves three orange pumpkins or two big gold leaves or four Red maple. I mean uh, oak leaves. I'm sorry And I'm just gonna stick them all around. I'm putting one of the glittery pumpkins on each side 
and see how it's giving me a hard time. If your arrangement gives you a hard time, just go ahead and judge it. Play with it. If it falls over, hey, what are you going to do? You just fix it. You're the one who made it. You can fix it if it breaks. It's kind of how it goes. All right. And just do it to your liking. And if you don't like the glitter and you want to leave these out, you absolutely can. If you want to buy some of the little foam um, gourds that we got the other day, the green gourd ones um, that they have this year, or some of the moss-covered rocks, anything that you like that you think you just want to add to this. Um, this is about showing you how you can add traditional with a little bit of bling. Use what you have. Because, honestly, I... I bought the maple leaves the other day because I was able to find them this year, but I did not buy them for this. I wanted this project to be made up of all stuff that I had purchased in the past. This is all stuff that I had laying around my house, okay? Other than me picking up the maple leaves this year, everything else was something that I bought a minimum of a year ago. Uh, let's see. So I have these red oak leaves, and there's four of them, so I'm going to put two on each side. Sort of to balance, you know. And it's okay that it's not exactly identical. Just like his pumpkins are balanced, but they're not identical because one's they're two different shapes. All right. And you want to try to hide the sticks if you can, best as possible. You know, stick them behind leaves or stuff. This is giving me a hard time because the one on the right was sitting on his pedestal and the one on the left did not want to stay on his pedestal. <laughs> so they were at two different heights, but you just got to keep working it. And then I had that third little orange pumpkin, and I'm just going to stick that right in the center. And that, my friends, is all there is for now. All right. The only thing that I wanted to tell you that I did do off camera, and I'll show you the picture at the end, I'll insert the picture at the end, is um, because this is on my coffee table, I wanted to do something in the back. So in the back, I added a wire-edged burlap ribbon with orange pumpkins on it that I had gotten last year at clearance at Walmart. All right? And um, that's just to show you, you know, that you can make it presentable from the couch as well as presentable from the middle of the living room. All right? And if you feel like it needs anything, just go ahead and add any little thing you have. These two little maple leaves were sitting and I thought, okay, stick them in the middle. Just add a little bit more dimension in the middle. Draw your eye to the center. And that's it. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope I inspired you to make something from nothing. <laughs> make something from stuff that you have. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, like I said, I'm going to link it in the description box the um, video to how to make the country crates. And also the other Country Crate centerpiece in farmhouse style. Um, but this is what it looks like. I hope you, like I said, I hope you really like it. I hope you really get inspired to do something from nothing. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anybody you know who might be inspired to do something very, very colorful like this. And... Um, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. And next to the subscribe bu button is a little bell that will let you know when I upload a new video. And as always, you take care, God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye!